Now, local elementary school students were ready for Monday's solar eclipse. That's because they learned all about the sun, moon, and earth in school. Claire Hamlet talks with the kids. Several students from Harrington Waddell Elementary School gathered at Rockbridge Regional Library on Monday afternoon to watch the moon dance with the sun and earth, and it struck some of them as a bit strange. It's like a crescent moon, but it's the sun. Waddell student Wyatt Sorrells thought he could see the sun's corona. Red crescent. A red crescent? The kids were ready. They had learned about solar eclipses in school on Monday, before they were let out early to go and watch it. I learned that it's a time when the moon passes between the sun and the earth. The moon goes in front of the sun. Youth Services Manager Carol Jones said the library provided free NASA-approved glasses for families. Lexington Technology Resource teacher Jen Hall created a slideshow and other materials for teachers to share with students. It's part of science, right, and it's part of, like, our life experience. and just like for kids to sort of understand what's happening and why that's happening. For most of the kids, it was the first eclipse they'd seen. The next eclipse visible in the United States will be in 20 years. Where will they be then? I'll probably be like going to a bank or something. We're sure James and the other kids will be ready. Scientists say the next solar eclipse will be on August 23rd, 2044. With the Rockbridge Report, I'm Claire Hamlet.